Good day. My name is Stephen Davids. I am the CEO of a training company, Patipele Center of Learning, a professional journalist and also a systems designer. In today's video, I will address how to have the current date in Google Spreadsheets and documents. The alternative title for this video is also how to dynamically update time in Google Spreadsheets and Docs. To insert a date in Google Docs is not as easy as one may assume at first. In order to insert the date, you need to get a script that you can download from the well-known Stack Exchange. You can just type it in. And then you can uh, use a script editor to insert the script. Another way you can insert the date in Google Docs is by using the Google Doc add-on text factory or another suitable add-on. The problem, however, with both methods is that you only get a fixed date. The date is fixed. If it's tomorrow's date, yesterday's date, or whatever date, if it's 20 December, 20th of December, 30th of December, that date remains. It does not automatically update and dynamically update to, for example, today's date. Please note that there is a difference between the time stamp and the current date now. The time stamp is automatically inserted whenever someone submits a form and the time stamp remains constant. But the current date is dynamic and it changes as soon as you make a change to the form. For example, 16, make it double six, and there you have it. We do need the current date for our purposes. Cause, for example, we need to update someone about the status of his registration, and then, as part of the communication where that person states, the letter was addressed to you today. For our purposes, we needed the now function. Now function produce the now function. Now, with the brackets, produces the date as well as the time. However, the now function on its own is not very really good because. Uh, the now function doesn't pull the rest of the cells down and neither uh, if we just copy it, it will give a problem because uh, when someone submits a new form it must automatically insert the date into that cell. Our solution was uh, therefore to have the now function with an array formula and here's the array formula that we uh, link to the timestamp, the, the array, form, array formula. And then if you have the array formula, unfortunately you get the time as a number value. In order then to make it a date, you simply uh, format it, format, number, and then you go to if you have one only want the date you get the date if you want the date with the time date format number and then date time and then as soon as you want uh, to send out communication you see that now current date difference differ from the timestamp if you then want to send out a uh, a letter, follow-up letter on correspondence on the person's form submission. You 
can date you with cotton date. In our case, we send out letters with the mail merge program auto -crat. And then, in this specific instance, an example, here is the time now function. And then we refer to the time now function into the form letter. And in the form letter, you just type in between these double parrots the uh, column header. I must point out that when the person submits a form the first time, then the time now cell shows time as a number. But this does not pose a problem because the time now at the time when the person submits the form is a timestamp. You want at the time now function for other additional communication with the individual. And therefore, before you have this individual communication with that specific person or that group, you simply then go and format again that column as a date time. And there you will see this number changed to date time. To recap then on the array formula for time for the now function, here it is, the array formula, and the array formula states that if the cells in column A2 to A infinity are not empty, then if it's true, then perform the now function. There is an now function. If the condition is not met in false, then we return an empty cell. Thank you very much for watching. We appreciate constructive criticism and feedback. Please like this video and share this video.